for YouTube friends. Today we are installing the Biobi Day Slim Edge. It's a nice bidet that attaches to your existing toilet seat. So it should be pretty straightforward. Let's try and see how we can set this up. So we want to open this up. It's supposed to clean your behind very good. All right, so first step is to remove the toilet seat itself. So to do that, you're going to have some nuts underneath the toilet, one on this side, and one on the other side. So basically, you just need to, usually you can use your fingers and uh, loosen them. Let's see here. All right, so remove those little plastic nuts. Let's get that toilet seat off. There we go. All right, once your original toilet seat is off, what you have to do is close the valve, uh, water supply valve, so that's easy. Basically, what you're gonna do is just turn. That shuts off the valve, so you can turn. Next, you're gonna disconnect the water from the uh, wall or the um, floor going to the tank so again you want to turn this left but you have to be this is pretty tight there we go next on your list of accessories you're going to take out the rubber washer and the T-valve. You're going to take the T-valve and the rubber washer. If you pay attention, you're going to see there's a narrow part and a thicker part. So the narrow part is facing up and you're going to place that right on the top of this T-connector right there. Okay, so right on the top and you're gonna go ahead and attach this. All right, so once you uh, plug this on, again, to the right, you can uh, tighten a little bit with some uh, pliers. Not too much though. Next, you're going to take the water supply, attach it to the bottom. Remember, make sure your seal is good there and intact. And you attach it to the bottom here of the T valve. All right, next, after you have that connected, you are going to take your metal holes, the one that's supplied, and doesn't matter, I think both ends are pretty much the same. So either one of the ends connect it to the end on that T-valve here, um, the one that you just installed. So as usual, Try to make sure you thread this on carefully. All right, so your next step is you're gonna insert these rubber non-slip mats here into the circular, uh, the bottom of the bay um, mounting brackets. So right here. 
All right, once you get these installed, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place, flip the belay over, make sure the rubber stoppers don't fall out. And I'm gonna put these a little circular um, mounting things there. And then what you wanna do is align it. All right, so once you align this, what you wanna do is take your toilet seat and place it over the bidet. And align it so that you can mount everything. Once you center everything, just uh, tighten the Um, bolts or nuts back up for your toilet seat. Alright, so once you've centered the uh, toilet seat, make sure everything's good. Center. Again, these are just tissues, sorry about that. And um, the day's not sticking out too much there. Handles there. Now, you want to connect the hose. Okay, once you have that connected, your last step is the most important step. Have a light on you, check for leaks after you turn on the, the valve. So your major leak points would be right there. So you just double check and you turn it on. The toilet tank is filling up, which is good. Don't see any leaks yet. No leaks here. 